So the drink is good. It tastes like it tastes like water. And it has chlorophyll in it, and chlorophyll deodorizes the body internally from the inside. I tried it. Okay, so before I start, I have to eat an orange because I'm obsessed with oranges. This is how I cut my oranges. Is it recording? Yes. Okay, so cutting up the cauliflower is the worst part. So just try to get it into little bite sized pieces, but I'm not going to show everything because I hate this part. Okay, so into the flour, get onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, smoked paprika, and Old Bay seasoning. I don't have Old Bay seasoning, so I'm going to try Cajun blackened seasoning, and then um, some cornstarch, and that's it for the dry part. Okay, so um, I didn't really explain what this is. I cut up the cauliflower. This is basically going to be a vegan fried chicken, right? And so you have your dry base that I just mixed up. And then the wet base is going to be, you can use any type of milk. Really, it's supposed to be soy milk, but all I have is almond milk. So the wet base is almond milk and a bit of Dijon mustard. This adds like a little tangy flavor. And I just tried a little bit of this. It's uh, kind of spicy, but it does have um, stuff that I don't have, like white pepper. And that's included in the recipe. You need white pepper. I don't have that, so this works out. Um, and then what you do is you want to dip the cauliflower into the wet, into the wet and the dry, wet and the dry, and then you fry it. And I'm going to fry it in safflower oil um, because that's healthier oil. Um, and then yeah. So this almond milk has been sitting out for a couple of days. So I'm gonna taste test it. And it's still good. Fuck almond milk. You know what? I'm trying to teach them how to be healthy. And don't cut it. Okay, so I just thought of a better way to do this since I don't have much space. Put all the cauliflower into a bag, then pour the liquid in here, and shake it up, and figure it out somehow. We'll see. So that actually worked out really well but what happened was I used up all the flour and all the liquid so I had to do two batches of each so I'm just going ahead and pouring the liquid in a second time then I'm going to put it into the flour and I'm going to fry it so yeah and it smells good so don't knock it till you try it Okay, so definitely, if you're going to try this, use a bag. 
Um, it's a lot easier than just doing it one by one. You might as well just throw it all into a bag. And something else I thought of is um, you could prep for this. You could put the cauliflower in the bag, put the liquid in the bag. And if you have a fridge, I don't. Put it in the fridge overnight. Then the next day, it'll be less work when you mix it with the flour stuff and you fry it. So there's a little tip right there. Okay, y'all. So here it is. Here it is. They are crispy. Okay. Very easy. It's like a burger sauce. It's not vegan. It has um, egg yolk in it. So it's definitely not vegan. But um, usually I would make a sauce with vegan mayonnaise and some paprika, garlic, onion powder. Um, and I think some lemon juice. But I don't have all that stuff right now. So this is like a quick fix. So yeah, we're just going to... Um, and I'm going to make some uh, veggie burgers. I'm really trying my best uh, to not use meat and dairy. So, yeah. That's all. So, these veggie burgers better taste good because this is some bullshit. How they just broke apart like this. This is not okay. Like, I don't even know how they're supposed to fit on a burger bun. This is, this is horrible. So, I hope they taste good, y'all.